Maintaining lethality in Overmatch in near-peer armor-on-armor engagements requires the ability to act decisively faster than the enemy. The Advanced Targeting and Lethality Aided System, or ATLAS, provides advanced technology to reduce engagement timelines for ground combat vehicles by integrating and experimenting with state-of-the-art EOIR targeting sensors, aided target recognition algorithms, optionally manned auto-loading turrets, and intelligent fire control systems. The ATLAS objective is to enable an overall reduction in end-to-end -end engagement time over today's capability, allowing the operator to engage three targets in the time it now takes to just engage one. ATLAS Soldier Touchpoint 1 is an initial demonstration to show the benefit of automation to target acquisition and fire control systems. The objective ATLAS system includes third-gen FLIR optimized for rapid aided target acquisition, on-the-move target engagements, and handoff and receipt of targets to the battlefield network. My name is Starfirst Class Dustin Harris. I'm the C5 ISR NVESD Abrams Master Gunner. Currently, combat vehicle crews use the direct fire engagement process to detect, identify, decide, engage, and assess threat targets. The crew uses their sensors, training, and experience to search an area of responsibility. Upon detection of a target, the crew has to identify and classify it, determine the appropriate weapon system and ammunition is selected, and confirm positive identification prior to servicing the target. ATLAS aims to streamline this process. Using an advanced sensor and AITR algorithms, ATLAS rapidly completes the search, detection, identification, classification, and selection of appropriate weapon systems for the targets that are detected. This information is fed directly to the ALAS fire control system, automating the process for the crew. Additionally, the vehicle commander has the capability to conduct push-button slew to queue with all targets that are detected by the AITR. Positive identification and engagement of threat targets is still executed by the vehicle commander. ATLAS looks to regain overmatch by using automation and an advanced fire control system to reduce target acquisition and engagement timelines. By decreasing the time it takes to complete acquisition and classification of threats, ATLAS will increase the lethality of the crew and its combat effectiveness on the battlefield.